आई एम मिस्टर समानंद पालकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सी एस सी के आई डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर एंड आई एम यूअर प्रोफेशनल इलेक्टिव टीचर एंड द कोर्स नेम इज ब्लॉक चेन एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसीज सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ द ब्लॉक चेन एंड द क्रिप्टो करेंसीज वील डिस्कस द वट इज ब्लॉक चेन हाउ इट इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड वट इज द प्रोग्रेस सो फार and some primary information about the blockchain and the cryptocurrencies so before going to start the primary introduction of this let us see what are the broader broader objective of this particular course through this course the learners will be able to learn various important uh, aspects of the blockchain and cryptocurrencies such as blockchain and cryptocurrencies basics decentralization and cryptography Bitcoin network and the payment, smart contract and Ethereum, hyperledger and what are the different alternative to the blockchain, and blockchain outside the currencies. So these are the objective, broader objective of this particular course. Okay, as we move ahead, we are going to discuss all these uh, concepts in detail. Now let us start with the first. Uh, unit number one that is introduction to blockchain and today we are going to start the very first lecture lesson one and we'll see what is the introductory part of this particular session so blockchain is the latest technology okay who has promised to alter the existing paradigm of all the industries and the businesses today which includes your it information technology finance government media medical laws and many more industries uh, which are in the world okay because this is one of the revolutionary technology and we are going to discuss what are the technical concepts what are the theoretical concepts and what are the other technologies which are part of this uh, blockchain technology we are going to discuss at the same time we are going to address what is the distributed system and primary introduction of the bitcoin so so that part we are going to discuss in uni this is uh, unit number 1 introduction now let us see how the blockchain technology progress so far from 2013 to 2025 actually this blockchain technology uh, invented in 2008 9 okay uh 2008 but actually its uses started from 2013 now if you see the graph here you can see how this blockchain technology matures over the period of time from 2013 to 2025 now let us see from in 2013 ideas and only thought thoughts thought processes are only going on discussions are going on in 2013 but from 2013 onwards if you see the period of 2013 14 15 some research uh, work is carried out by so, some industry persons academicians and some algorithms are developed okay in this first 3 years after this further research is carried out in next 3 years that is to say 2016 17 and 18 and as a output of this particular research some applications are developed means actually the blockchain technology is implemented in real world industries in not all sectors but it started then after that 2019 20 21 actual projects are started actual projects are started which makes use of this blockchain technology and as we go on using this blockchain technology for the enhancement of ongoing business processes okay so the blockchain technology uh, uh, research and its implementation is also progresses up to this 2021 and now from 2021 onwards blockchain technology is the buzzword and further research is now going on in a blockchain technology in addition to basically the blockchain technology uh, was used for developing the bitcoin application that is the first application which run over this blockchain technology but 
not necessarily only financial sector other industries also now working on use of this blockchain technology in their business processes for efficient uses and the for the security purpose also so this is how the progress of blockchain technology from 2013 to 2025 now whenever we discuss about the bitcoin or the blockchain technology very first terminology that comes into the mind that is distributed system so the black blockchain is a decentralized and a distributed system as its core it means there is a no central controller administrator who is monitoring this blockchain system that's why it is called as a decentralized and it is called as a distributed system because it consists of different computers and the nodes which are working together okay so next one is what distributed system distributed system is a computing paradigm computing paradigm means what number of nodes which are part of the internet or the network which are coming together which are coming together work together to achieve a common goal okay in a coordinated fashion okay but as a end user we can see it as a single coherent logical platform let me give you one example for example as i have mentioned here google search engine okay google search engine is based upon a very large distributed system but as a end user whenever we are uh, searching any of the resource or the information from the google we can see it as a single coherent system but behind the scene multiple nodes are coming together perform certain uh, processing on the information the data and the collective result is displayed to the user and because of that we can see only a single logical platform which is a google but it is actually a distributed system okay like google there are number of uh, distributed systems available in the market so google is only a representative example okay so you can search for the different uh, systems also now let us move to the next now as we discuss google is the google search engine is the large distributed system okay now as i told you whenever we are talking about the distributed system it consists of number of computers which are working together and these computers are referred as a node okay so in a distributed systems each and every computer or the workstation which who is uh, connected in that particular system is called as a node and all these nodes are capable of sending and receiving the messages because uh, as we know this is not like a client server system means only client has to send the request to the server and server will only perform the computation and client will only see the response okay this is not like that each and every node in a distributed system is capable of sending and receiving the messages from each other this is the very very important feature of the distributed system now now let us see this uh, a very small scale example of the distributed system here you can see now here in this particular diagram you can see n1 n2 n3 up to n5 n n these are the representative nodes in a distributed system and the two headed arrows are showing you the links which are connecting all these nodes together okay now if you see that rectangle it has the number of nodes which are working together to achieve a common goal but as a end user you can see that as a single logical coherent platform like a google search engine okay so there is a proper coordination between these number of nodes uh, which are working together okay but end users only can see it's a final result and end users uh things that this is the single coherent logical system which works for the me okay this is a small scale uh, example of the distributed system now now let us try to understand what is the history of the blockchain and some of the concepts related to blockchains some of the terms related to blockchain and the bitcoin so very important term that need to understand is electronic cash electronic cash means the whatever is the 
data uh, uh, the cache is available in digital format and whenever that data uh, the cache is in a digital format we can make the duplicate n number of duplicate copies of the cache but this is not allowed okay this is not allowed in case of financial system okay so accountability okay accountability and anonymity are the very important features of the blockchain accountability is required for what purpose accountability is required to ensure that the cash is spendable only once okay and it can only spend by the rightful owner means the only account holder only account holder can spend that particular money and only once double spending is not at all allowed okay in this uh, financial system okay and why this feature is important because it is very easy to make the copies of the digital data and this becomes a very big issue in the digital currencies so double spending is not at all allowed so accountability ensures okay avoiding the double spending uh, of the digital currencies next one is the anonymity anonymity is related to the privacy of the users transactions performed by that particular user okay so that is also very important features okay so anonymity and the accountability these are the very important part of this particular blockchain okay so whenever we, you are dealing with the blockchain technology and the bitcoin systems these two features are very very important now let us see the next uh, part of this now why blockchain is very much popular because of this blind signature and secret sharing technique because of this blind signature and secret sharing technique accountability and anonymity is possible and because of this security features the blockchain is very very popular then there is next word that is called as a proof of work and the public key cryptography okay public key cryptography which are which is used here to ensure the uh, uh, integrity then availability okay availability of that uh, information or the transaction so proof of work is very very and you can see it is a heart of that particular blockchain technology proof of work means if you want to perform any transaction and if you want to save that particular record in a database then all the nodes which are part of that blockchain must agree on that particular transaction if each and every node in that particular blockchain accepts your transaction then and then only that particular transaction is confirmed and recorded and after that no one is going to modify that transaction if someone try tries to modify that transaction new transaction will be recorded but the old transaction or the previous transaction is not modified and if this is called as a tamper proof day records tamper proof transactions which are recorded uh, here now as you see here now you can see blockchain technology is a combination of different other technologies also e cash schemes means electronic cash systems state machine replication means replication technology consensus mechanism hash cash computational puzzles and peer to peer networks all these technologies or technical concepts comes together and it becomes your bitcoin network or the blockchain see so what is bitcoin and what is blockchain bitcoin is one of the application financial application which works on a blockchain platform okay and this is how blockchain is introduced to the world so when it is developed bitcoin application is developed and for developing that bitcoin application blockchain technology is used and this is how this is this is how it is introduced to us okay so so this is all about uh, blockchain and some history of the blockchain so this is all about our lesson number 1 so we'll meet again in lesson 2 and we'll go ahead with some more concepts of the blockchain thank you